Good morning, Negroes, and uh, not Negroes, I don't know. Um, oh, girl, I need to get that air in my tire. So, this is just a real quick little something. Can y'all just, can we go a day? I was gonna ask for a week, but that's just far too much for you. You being, you know who you are, the girls. The girls who just can't go 35 minutes without having a little piece of beef. Can y'all just, can we take a moment? Can everybody go to their corners for a minute and mind their business? Just mind your business, girl. Mind it, just, you know there's an old gospel song that says, I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Can y'all that don't wake up with your, your mind stayed on Jesus, wake up with your mind stayed on your business? Can we do that? Let me give y'all a little backstory, a little, you know, prefix of what's going on. Matthew Milo. I know I'm bringing up names, yada, blah, blah. I don't give even a piece of a damn on this morning. He was, he was doing a live last night. I catch a lot of his lives. We're friends. I catch his lives. He catches my lives. You know, we even talk outside of YouTube. It's not, you know, super deep or anything like that. But he did a live last night. It wasn't a lot of people on the live. See, this is the thing. This is a problem I have with YouTube, with people who, who get on YouTube. And I'm coming up here to the subway, just a little throwback for the girls. Um, This is a problem I have with a lot of people who, who watch YouTube, who don't do YouTube. Y'all don't pop up on the live when the live is going on. Y'all pop up on the live after the fight. So I'm on the live at whatever o'clock in the morning, minding my business, talking to Matthew. We having a conversation. We identify on a lot of different things. So he's talking about, you know, how he feels a certain way and I'm giving him, yeah, yeah, I feel sometimes blah, 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 or whatever. That live was, I was gonna say 12 hours ago, but it hadn't been 12 hours. But the point is it's been hours. I've gone to sleep, I've woken up, I've worked on some things. And you girls, a lot of the girls are popping into people's business this morning. It's just, a couple people commented under that video, people who were not on the live, talking about, I hate it when I get on lives and people are only talking to one or two people. He only had one or two people in the live. Because y'all so busy watching all these beef lives and y'all come back for the playbacks later of the wreck, you know, the just our unproblematic YouTube lives. Just, you know, me just chitting and chatting. I'm not saying I'm unproblematic. I'm just saying that my lives are. I don't get on and do a lot of, you know, exposing and beefing and not downing the girls who do that y'all's business. But y'all be so busy on them lives that when decent regular people get on the live and just want to have conversation, y'all don't be there. So he was talking to me because I was one of only maybe five people in the live and I was talking to him. Somebody talking about you need to get her number and tell her all these sweet nothings. Matthew can get in contact with me outside of YouTube. It wasn't, we weren't having a date. It wasn't, ooh, let me hop on live and hope she on here so that we can, you know, flirt with each. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was, he felt away. He knows I have also felt away. And he was communicating with me as I was communicating with him. We've been on several lives this past, you know, in the past week. I've talked to him. I've talked to other people that have been on his lives directly. I don't understand. I don't understand why you do. Anyway, but even before... I got wind of this. I woke up this morning. I said, well, let me go on over and check my comments. I don't respond to them all in, uh, at just, you know, just every day. But, you know, I go in and peek and see what's going on. I woke up this morning, check my, uh, my YouTube creator app, saw that I had a comment, a long one. I was like, girl, whenever I have a long comment, it's never, you know, hey, girl, you brightened my day. You made it, you know, fantastic. And I'm going to give you all the lyrics to uh, Michael Jackson's Remember the Time. I'm going to type them here and hope you enjoy them. It's never that. It's always, well, here's how I feel about your raggedy and, <laughs> you know, everybody that, that enjoys me, they comment, hey girl, enjoy you, heart emoji, and that's it. It's you girls that just have a problem, that feel the need to take 35 minutes out of your day to comment <laughs> something that I either am going to read in its entirety or I am not. So like a year ago, maybe two, I don't even know when I did this video. I canceled Chris Brown because he was, if I remember correctly, because I didn't go back and check this because I don't care. He did a video, or no, he did, I did a video canceling him um, because pictures surfaced of him choking out a woman. Choking out a woman. Now you might say, oh no, not Chris Brown choking out a woman. 
that's so uncharacteristic but i'm not gonna say that because that's not uncharacteristic i posted the video uh, allegedly or apparently in the video i called the man a crackhead he looked crackish to me he looked crackish what can we do he's gaunt he don't look healthy i everybody got crackheads that they know are in their family or whatever it's not y'all act like crackhead is the worst thing anybody i didn't call the man a republican i called him a crackhead send him to rehab take him to prayer and he might get better like <laughs> it's way easier to heal from crack than heal from republicanism like girl the ghetto y'all really acting like i didn't shame this man and <laughs> wheeled him to death i did not i, I might have said because i didn't go back and watch the video i might have said the man was on crack he looked like he don't crack to me like anyway girl so somebody commented and said that they were gonna subscribe to me they have been binge watching me they were considering subscribing but then they saw that video i did about uh canceling chris brown and uh all the hatred i have for this man and how can you uh call a man a crackhead and have all this i'll just read it girl it's right yeah I, I can just pull it up it's probably the last comment that i've received recently let me just read it verbatim for the girls and respond to it accordingly. Who is it? Why do I have 50 messages in, in uh, my inbox? Who is it? Who, who put me in a group? Oh, okay. I'll allow it. I was like, what? But then I read. Okay, so the comment. See, it started out this way. Well, sweetie, comma. See, and I already knew. I had just cracked my eyes. <laughs> And the first thing I read is, well, sweetie. I already was like, girl, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even for the deal. It says, well, sweetie, whenever you make a video, because this she commented on a live video I did after the Chris Brown. Vi I simply said Chris Brown was canceled. I don't understand why that was so, so controversial. But Team Breezy came by and they started, you know, attacking me. And I was in a, a much more fragile place at this time. Now, mind you, this is over a year ago, maybe two. I really genuinely don't remember because I'm so far over it. I've had so much go on since then. My grandmother tried to kill me, girl. I can't be bothered with this bull. <laughs> can I be bothered? Anyway, well, sweetie, whenever you make a video where you have a negative opinion about a megastar, you run the risk of having their fans defend them. Trashing Chris's name was your choice. For every cause, there is an effect. I know this video is old, but I'm just now seeing it. See, right there is where you could have stopped. You really didn't have to comment because the video is old. That's the thing that I need people to understand. I do the video and I don't... I did the video and later that day don't remember nothing I said in the video let alone a year later I don't care about the video <laughs> I don't care like that girl I could cancel somebody and go on about my day and have a fantastic day it's not I'm not gonna cancel somebody on, on camera and go around and be begrudged and oh I can't believe ah, 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 for the rest of my life girl <laughs> Child, if Chris Brown comes sits right here and says I got a bop I want you to listen to puts a tape in the tape player right here and plays it and it's truly a bop I might shake my shoulders I might I don't give even a p anyway girl she goes on to say you didn't simply say that Chris is canceled you said a lot more than that it came off as a hatred calling him crackheads woman beaters and everything else that was wrong me calling Chris Brown a woman beater is wrong but Chris Brown be women ain't wrong <laughs> Chris Brown beating the hell and the heaven out of Rihanna, biting her, peeling her eyebrow off the side of her face. Like, it's not wrong. Choking the woman in the pictures, in the video ain't wrong. But me saying he did it was wrong. Niece, niece, what are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, it's the, it's the test, honey. It's, it's, it's Wednesday at, at, right at noon. Anyway, I just found this channel and I was binge watching until I seen that hatred see even the state <laughs> even even the county understands that your grandma was incorrect and had to ring the alarm um seeing the hatred you had for a man that has suffered enough and paid his debt to society 100 times over niece sister let me explain something to you let me just break it down chris brown Number one, has not paid his debt to society 100 times over. He has not paid me any debt, and I'm a part of society. The debt has not been repaid unto me. He went to jail for something completely unrelated to woman beating. He didn't go to jail for the pictures that I that prompted me to make the video. So his debt, <laughs> I made the video based on a set, a set of pictures that were released that the man did not go to jail for, nor were charges pressed. Henceforth, the debt to society has not been paid. 
y'all just want to be super fans and act like, oh, he went to jail. He didn't go to jail <laughs> for everything he has done. So the debt's not paid. If I go take out a loan from five different places and pay off the loan to one place, I'm still in debt. What the hell? <laughs> and a hundred times over is such a reach, girl. That let me know you're team breezy. Um, I was going to subscribe, but I can't stand behind someone who feels that way about Chris, who is a good father and has been getting his life on track. Did I say anything about him being a parent? Did I say uh, he is a, a bad father and how he, I ain't talked about that boy's child? Now, I'll have to go back in the video because if I did, then I will stand corrected. I'll stand in the seat, sit in the seat and stand on the ground of correction. But it's not in my nature. It's not in my natural character to talk about someone's children. I don't think I said anything about uh, royalty brown or whether or not Chris Brown was a good father to royalty because that has nothing to do with the fact that he beats women. I don't know, it's a lot of women beaters I know that don't beat their kids. Like, anyway, um, good luck with your channel heart emoji. I responded saying, LOL, okay, thanks for watching. Three heart emojis, as I do, it wasn't to one of her. I just always do the three purple hearts. It's just been my thing. Um, That's a dog. The dog was over here peeing and now she's just over here peeing. Like, girl, pick a pick a side what, anyway i didn't really make this video to diss this young lady but it's just like girl if i feel a certain way about someone who is a proven and known abuser i don't see why you had to make this big long comment about it like mind your business <laughs> if i feel a way about someone who is abusive that's how i feel just like you're allowed to stand for him and, and make up these ludicrous <laughs> notions that he's paid his debt to society 100 times over i'm allowed to feel like he's canceled and he looked like a crackhead and he beats women and at least two of those are facts the facts are he's canceled and actually three of them are facts he's canceled he does look he appears to be a the man looked like a crackhead and that's a fact i don't know what to tell you and he does beat women these are all facts they're all facts i don't <laughs> period i didn't say that the man was doing crack or i might have did i don't remember because i ain't watched the video over again because it was long ago Anyway, child, I just need y'all to mind your businesses. Just govern yourselves accordingly to minding your businesses. Thanks so much. <laughs> I know I'm to get some thumbs down, but girl, I just couldn't keep that to myself. That was on my nerves this morning. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. I got to do this SWV video. Peace.